What's up guys, this is the Exiles campaign, the final campaign in Infinity Wars. And basically the story behind it is that we stumble across this princess, the one that's in the prophecies to bring greatness to the Exiles, but she doesn't care about us because we're no-name people in the demon wastes and she's a princess. So, as with everything that's solved in Infinity Wars, you must brawl in order to find out whether or not you're worthy to join the princess. Unstable demon, huh? 10-5? I figure, like, every turn there's like a 1% chance it's just gonna explode and kill the game. Kressel the Mad, unique character demon. When Kressel the Mad leaves the battlefield, each player discards their hand. Oh my. Well, I have a second one. Demonic Disciple, pay one, sacrifice two other characters, exhaust, turn it to a 10 10. Beat. One, two. Throw you out. Hey! Look at that. Alright. Big guy on the. On spot right now. What now? One more. You can keep throwing them at me, it's not gonna do any good. One, two, three, four. Bit you out. A1, sacrifice two characters, transfer to 10 10 dragon. Yeah. I will take care of that in a moment. Oh, we're fighting a rogue root as well. Apparently, a root came into this battle for some reason. That doesn't make much sense. Maybe it's an exiled brute. There should be a card that's an exiled brute. That would be interesting. Right, I can't sack. Okay. Boom! There goes hands. Hands are gone. What did you even have in your hand? What is that? Gather the weak. Create three one one human worshipper characters. Cool. Dead now. Kill you two. And hang on, undo everything. Okay, so you're the one that's doing that, and then activate to kill you and you, and we'll make a bunch of them. We'll kill you and you. One guy left. The bloody massacre in here. Whoop. Whoop. Monic Disciple. These are kind of creepy. Unlimited character demon. So, this... Turned into this. A little creepy. But I win, so I guess it works. Yeah, the exiles are a little odd. So let's just go on to the next mission. Let it be. <laughs> Still have to prove ourselves to her, huh? All right. As if. The overwhelming victory last time wasn't good enough. Ritual Master! Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> can do that. Oh, Hell's Gambler. Activate Hell's Gambler's 50% chance to get negative 4, negative 4, 50% for plus 4, plus 4 can only be activated once per turn. Well, that could be really strong or really not. 
Yeah, I'm gonna sack this guy. We'll see what happens. Nailed it. Yep, sack that guy. Nearly dead anyways, right? Put you in the front in case that one comes down here. Did not. <laughs> It's a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, sack this guy. Because he's going to be a 5-3 here soon, so why not? Oops, sorry. There we go. Hell's Gambler is now dead. <laughs> he killed himself. By going to negative two, negative two, and that put us in the the victory. Well, Hell's Gambler is definitely not a, a card that I think I would want to use. Seems pretty bad. Why is Princess Henekri is now with what? Maybe she was kidnapped. I don't know. What are you? Dehumanize. Kill target character in combat zone. The controller of that, that character creates X11 demon characters, the same zone as the target, where X is the cost of the target. Oh no, she's on our side. Then why are we fighting her? I don't know. Wow. 13. Jeez. Ugh. Ay, ay, ay. Create X11 one, one demon characters in the same zone. But it doesn't matter who's... It doesn't necessarily come under my control. I could do it to them. I could do it to me. Demonic corruption. At the end of each turn becomes... It gets plus four, minus two at the end of every turn. I don't think Hell's Gambler is really going to be all that helpful. But you're not stopping me. You really can't do like a mass death right now or something. Oh. Uncool. Eight eight, yeah. I can't play her yet. Hmm. Actually. Kill them. Make a 10 10 out of you. Oh, it had to be him. Unstable demon. Yeah, if, if she were to be in combat. With the character, she retreats and diseases the character instead, takes four damage at the end of the turn. If the character would die to her disease instead, you gain control of it. So, it's a one-time damage thing. It's not a reoccurring damage. So in that case, I'll do this. No, I'll do this, because if there's a death ray, then it'll strike, and then I'll, I'll feel dumb.
Yeah. Let's just go. I guess dehumanize would be really good against the Varor because it's worth three, so you could take a 10 10, make it into three 1 1s. So I guess that works. Heat wave again. Ugh. Assassinate. That'll do some good. It's good against Beast of Burden, too, actually. Honestly, I'm not entirely certain what I should be doing. It's got to figure out a way to win, because this is not an overwhelming force. Not by any means. Has to be in a combat zone. Well, I think you will be in a combat zone. Four out of eight. Oh, yeah, the heat waves. Duh. Now, I want to keep one on the support zone. If there is a mass death, I want to have someone to back me up. I just... Target character becomes a demon. Do it to this guy. Might end up killing him. Or I might have to dehumanize him. I don't know. Ah! Well, now we have a, a nice little beast of burden. 11-6. Let's just draw. Okay, three one one human worshippers. Let's do that. Put him in the support zone. No, we're good. We're we're fine. Up up up. All right, so now we have another one. Some more shippers that we can dunk. You and you, and then you can take two war shippers. We can get another one of you guys down. Take you back and throw you out. Ah, Varro, Death Worshipper. Ah! Now I have two more 10 10s. She is really strong. Especially with these disciples. That works really well. This guy's gonna die. Back, put you out. Very tempted to just assassinate that, but I want to hold on to my assassinations until later. Okay. And more damage. Did nothing. Gather the weak. Wonderful. Take you and you. You get on defense. Gather the weak. Get another disciple. Get one of you. Yeah, that, that really strong dude's now dead, so that works in my favor. Eh, don't need to shuffle. Another 10-10. Gather the weak. Disciple. Take two warshippers. Switch. Throw a second one out in case he comes into defense instead of offense. Dehumanize. Throw out... All of this. Just all of that. Okay. Well, that's game. That was... I was being more cautious than I needed to because I 
I see the purple and I think mass death. When's the mass death coming? It's bro, there's gotta be mass death. Overly cautious. Level 8. Sure, let's continue with my first deck. Against Princess Hennecree. And the sleepers. Fighting sleepers. A okay. Bunk. Ah, an infectious zombie. Monks are good against those. I will gladly kill you. Witch. And charge forward, my army. Kill a horde. Yep. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Don't want to sack any of these really strong characters. I just get a feeling one of these guys is coming out this turn. No? Scavenger. Interesting. Whoa. Oh! Because of the... <laughs> Because of the vicious ransackers, I was like, why did their support zone clear? Oh, wait, because the ransacker's there. Okay, well, let's just end it with him. GG. The initial damage plus everything is way more than enough. All right, well, that's game. That was easy. Ransackers are really good, and I like those. Just for fun, I'm going to play the Illegal Merge deck to see what happens. It's not a tournament legal deck. That's why it's called the Illegal Merge deck. Okay. The Demon Wastes. Hungry Devil, Consume 2. Some of these pictures are really disturbing. <laughs> Just like, why? Why do I have to look at this? I'm killing her. You do not get your two cards. Whoa, what? Oh, right! Oh, yeah! Right, uh, raw. If an enemy character died, create two 1-1 one, one demons at the end of the turn. At the end of the turn, if you control 30 or more demon characters, you win the game. The unique demon. I also have with me... Navi, unique artificial, and Doug, the unique elemental. You can go ahead and read those by pausing the video, but they are just too strong. These are demons. Spawn Raw. Those three cards between Raw, Navi, and Doug, those three cards are not tournament legal, but they're really strong. <laughs> We should be able to play Navi. Two more damage. Navi out, play Doug. Flame Dawn to Spittant. Bring the Dawn, the Death Worshippers. Bring them all on. Doug, you're in defense. Oh, uh, let's do this. Oh, killing Navi, huh? She gets one charge, five damage to target character in combat. If Navi has ten charges, you win the game. She gets ten kills, you'll win the game. Oh, heat wave! But that did heal my fortress ten more. It makes it that much harder for him to win. Still, that hurt. Ay ay ay, okay, uh Crap, because now they're really strong. I'm gonna keep wailing him. If, if he takes damage, your fortress heals ten. 
Which is nice. We'll get hit twice, but it's only once per turn. Like, first time he takes damage each turn. If I go six, ah. Grr. All I can say is grr. Put Doug in offense. Eight, six, four. Yeah. All right. Oh, we killed Doug. No, Doug. Why? Ow, 42 to 24. Yeah. Hey, we got another Doug. <laughs> Doug, you're back. Good to see you. Kill you. Play Doug. Actually, don't play Doug. You're going to be doing 14 times 3 damage, which is uh, 42. So, I'll hold on for one more turn by playing the Matriarch. And actually, I'll just stumble you back. You do even less damage. Beast of Burden. Alright. Kill you. Gonna give me some demons to play with. You're going back. Oh, and they heat wave. 30 damage. 32 damage. Vicious Ransacker. <laughs> Alright. I should use the demons to block. Doug. That three. Thirty more demon. I guess that's the number of demon characters I control, probably. Basically, if I kill fifteen of their characters without losing my demons, I win. Which is pretty good. Yeah, you stay up there, just in case. Vicious Ransacker, you can play. I should not need to do this, but I will. Just in case. I am worried. I'm taking a risk. Well, one to one blocks. But we'll kill the beast of burden and get in the final shot for the kill. Alright. Success. Next mission, Illegal Merge Deck, Chaos Lands, and we're against Sleepers, oh boy. In fact, the Risen of Avarok we're against, that's not pleasant. Wait, 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 no, 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 kill that Risen. Oh, and he came out, what perfect timing. I honestly didn't know he was coming out, so for me to kill him like that is actually pretty handy. Oh, another one came out. Well, it'll be six on each side on this turn. You get to play, and we'll do you guys. Risen of Avarok. Immortal deck. This is where Grave Rob would be very handy. And you just rip him out. Oh, that's the one that got hit. Duh. I always get confused. I, I know I have the freaking Vicious Ransacker, and I get confused when I do damage to them. Three, two, six. Just push him out. Okay, that's fine. He's not gonna die anytime soon. I promise you that. Navi! <laughs> 
So the spawn of Ra is the exact same art as the Riven of Avaroch. That seems a little lazy. Ah, oh, well. It's not my game. Another undead corruption twice over? That's not going to do anything. It always stays on him. That was a completely pointless move. 37. You can just sit over there. And... We win. What are the three I played? Oh, yeah. Okay. Got it. That is game. 30 damage initial from Sacculus the Final Hammer. Plus 57 more damage. The Chaos Lands did not stand a chance against this stupid, un like, uh, the illegal deck. It's a deck that I use for merge, so other people can play with this, these same characters. The Vero Sleepers. Oh boy. Kill you. I don't want to deal with your crap. Infectious Zombie. Our Death Worshipper is dead. And that's all I'm going to do for this turn. An Endless Horde has appeared. Yeah, I got to be careful. Tell you what, I'll sacrifice a nice 1-1 one -one zombie to you. And then charge, and charge, no, and ransacker. I do want it this way. In fact, let's do it this way. Yep. So you can have the, the spawn of raw. That's going to do you a lot of good. Kill an endless horde, and deal nine. Oh look, we have two more, and they have one more. I'm actually... Yeah, that that's just, it fits really well. Having the spawn of Raw over there, that just, that works. So we have five right now. Well, let's go three, four, five. We know a five is going to be attacking. So let's do it like so. Because we're going to have to kill this guy. He's a five, five. I'm going to sack these two guys to kill that guy. And then this guy's going to come over here for defense as well, most likely, so he'll just have to fall to the little kangaroo guy. Oh, he didn't come out. Well, then he'll die to the vicious ransacker. Flame Dawn Espedent. Three, one... I need to do three damage. So, do three damage. Can't really take six. I guess the Tech Knight can do it. Strong enough. There's gonna be a mass death, isn't there? God, I hope there's not a mass death. Undisturbed Necropolis. At the end of the turn, Undisturbed Necropolis creates a 4-4 undead zombie character for each enemy character that died in the previous turn. Oh my. That's pretty good. Let's make sure it never sees the light of day. Mass death or not, I'm going to win this game. In fact, I just won the game. 30, plus everything that I do. Forty more, 70 damage this turn. And both sides got two zombies. <laughs> the 
Varor sleepers have been crushed in their undead necropolis. Varoria! We're now upon Varoria as the exiles. Tech Knight. Okay. But you? Don't want to deal with these death worshippers. They're not nice. Take them out. Night of the Flame Dawn. Cool. Another death worshipper. Ten damage. Death worshippers galore. Three and one. Our death worshipper. This is where I wish I had the vicious ransacker because I could just obliterate those, no problem. One and three. Next turn comes the mass death. So, GG. No mass death? Oh, wait. I'll take it. <laughs> Didn't have to do anything, I just rushed you down. And there you go, guys. That is the final campaign. Let's go ahead and see where it took us around the map. But hopefully they expand the campaigns later. The campaigns are a great way. Oh, level 8. Get a reward for it. The campaigns are a great way to get a whole bunch of tokens and other various things that will unlock booster packs and other cards for you. Uh, you notice I have 70 things in the store. That's going to be the next episode after this, but it's not in this playlist, so you got to go check it out. It'll be unlocking all 70 things in here and uh, maybe buying some stuff. I, I'm saving up for the, until like 5,000, so we won't buy anything quite yet. But uh, so this is the path that the Exiles took on. So you can see Warpath, Flame Dawn, Genesis, Varor. Dodd, Sleepers, and Exiles. The Exiles and Varor ended up taking basically the exact same path, and the Sleepers got up all in their business early on. The Dodd got close, the Flame Dawns were right there. There seems to be a lot happening over in this area which is actually where the rift is uh, where the sleepers are, are at so it makes sense the genesis are only just now realizing as well as the warpath just now realizing but everyone else is fighting the sleepers and the sleepers keep getting stronger because of that so that's basically my understanding of the campaign overall progress 100 percent campaign complete there has to be more campaign because one, this whole area up here is untouched. All this up here. And two, this entire island chain over here is untouched. For all we know, there could be more types over here. You know, something like the Sleepers or the Exiles or the Varor, the Genesis Industries. Something new could be over here. A couple of them, even. So, who knows? It's all speculation at this point. Uh, the campaign is. It's, it's not very much story in the campaign, but it's good enough, you know? It works. So, that's it, guys. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. The exact, the, the exact follow-up to this episode will be what happens in the store and the 70 items. So, see you guys there.